With more consumers looking into organic foods, the topic of GMOs are becoming more frequent. One thing that some consumers are wondering is, what is a GMO? Genetically modified organisms, or GMO for short, is a transfer of genes from one organism to another. Andreas Botker, associate professor at the University of Guelph, explains the difference between GMOs and organics. Um, so that's one thing that we need to understand that organic is mostly about the produ uh, agricultural production process and GMO is limited to the production of seed uh, that is then used for whatever type of agriculture you want to do with it. Melissa Miller, formerly on the Organics Council of Ontario, explains part of the process that goes into organic foods. It generally means that during the whole handling process they haven't come into com um, contact with various other produce that may be sprayed or, or that sort of thing. So you can, when you see the organic brand, you can have some confidence that this food is not genetically modified or used with chemicals and that sort of thing. If you're looking for organic or non-GMO foods, the farmer's market is the ideal place to go. When buying produce at the market, most consumers don't have to worry about GMOs being in their food. But at grocery stores, sometimes it can be misleading. Miller However, explains the importance of labeling foods um, that are non-GMO. Now you're seeing a lot more products in the supermarket being labeled non-GMO project. And that's a voluntary label that a com company can use to say we don't use genetically modified ingredients. So I think again, if we're, if we're buying those products and showing that those products are going to be bought more as opposed to these products that aren't labeled, then maybe we'll see a shift. Although GMOs are portrayed as unhealthy, it shines a light on whether or not organic is healthier. Yeah. Bodker explains. Uh, scientists agree that uh, there is no long-term health uh, effect, at least none that would be measurable. He also says that diverse agriculture is needed to be beneficial because it provides more options to deal with pressing problems. For Spoke TV, I'm Long Nguyen.